So it's really weird to say this, but episode one is already out the way and we have a trailer for episode two, but not just episode two. It also showcases a little bit of footage for the rest of the season. And yes, we get a Batman tea. So let's dive straight into this video. I missed, damn it. What is up Gothamites, welcome to a brand new Gotham Season 5 trailer breakdown. Now, uh, obviously we're going to be doing these every single week after each episode. Uh, the difference with this trailer is that it showcased uh, quite a bit of the rest of the season, which I didn't actually expect, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, quite typically, this is the first episode. You might have some like new viewers in, but even if it isn't for that, it kind of is to just show all the people who may or may not have been paying attention to all the other trailers showcasing the rest of the season, like the movie trailer we got recently or the three minute featurette with the actors and actresses talking. This will show the rest of the season to a lot of new people who have just been watching it on their television uh, or just haven't watched Gotham since season four. I've seen that a lot of people have screamed out of their seats is that at the very end, we actually get a shot of Batman. Uh, so I will talk about that a little bit later in this video, but of course guys, I wanna show the trailer for episode two plus, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and roll the trailer and then I'll talk about everything else. Today's the big day. Things are changing in Gotham. A new world is coming. Gotham's fine now. You're not the same. And you've got to learn to respect that. You broke me! You have nowhere to run! I won't lose you. I'm not yours to lose. What we do now is more important than ever. Give me everything you got. Do it! Jeremiah! This ends tonight. No, Bruce. Now it begins. The final season of Gotham continues next Thursday on Fox. So there you have it, Gothamite. So now I'm going to read the synopsis for the next episode just to give us a little bit more context as to what is going on exactly in that episode. Uh, so the synopsis is as follows. Gordon and Bullock investigate a location where several kids have been kidnapped. Barbara proves to be an unlikely ally to Gordon. Meanwhile, Bruce looks into an alleged witch with healing powers for Selina. Enigma deals with demons of his own. So just addressing the synopsis quickly, I think the whole Gordon and Bullock investigate a location where several kids have been kidnapped is a part of uh, that kid who traveled through all the sectors of Gotham just to get to the GCPD where we saw him have a conversation with Jim and he told them a few things so I think this is exactly what Gordon and Bullock are gonna go do I think this might might connect to the whole mother and orphan -y kind of scene uh, we got at the end of season four and this is where he's escaped from potentially and that lady with that creepy mask is going around potentially uh, kidnapping even more kids we'll have to wait and see there as for Barbara proves to be an unlikely ally to Gordon this uh, is as we've known before they will be kind of helping each other but also with Barbara it looks like there may be a romantic little fling going on at some point in time as we also see in this trailer now the whole meanwhile Bruce looks into an alleged witch with healing powers for Selena. Uh, obviously that nurse teased the witch or Bruce must go to the witch to fix Selena. Uh, otherwise she'll never walk again. And as we know, Selena is in a very, very dark place from uh, the previous episode where she actually tried to kill herself. Uh, and she even said that she wishes Jeremiah did it because she'd rather be dead than live like this. So Bruce, I think, is going to go to Ivy. We have seen in recent trailers, for example, the movie trailer, if I remember correctly, Bruce goes to Ivy and she says something like, I wonder what will grow from you. I think he approaches Ivy because, well, she took a load of potions, became Poison Ivy, aged even more, and I think she can dish stuff like that out. And ultimately, I just think Bruce has got to appeal to her. I think she will be mind effing with him a little bit, but they were friends a while ago and even before that Ivy was friends with Selena. Selena has looked out for Ivy so hopefully she remembers that side and you know Bruce will be off on his little way with a potion to fix Selena although it will come at a cost which will change Selena Carl's personality to that of the more Catwoman like personality we know from the comics. Enigma dealing with demons of his own I think he's just gonna look into even more of what the heck is going on with him and as we also know as well he actually eventually blames this on Oswald which 
which is in part kind of true because Oswald is the one who brought him back to life. So he may be grateful for that, but as we've seen in a couple of trailers as well, Nigma's just like, you ruined me or something like that. Now, as for the trailer itself, we do see multiple clips from multiple different episodes across the season. So for example, uh, that first clip with Jeremiah, I'm not exactly sure what episode that is in, but we know Jeremiah is in episode four onwards. So don't think that this is all for next episode. It is most definitely scattered throughout the season. Obviously amongst the new footage we do see quite a bit of recycled footage from the movie trailer we got recently. We've been getting a whole bunch of trailers uh, showcasing the whole of season 5 right up until the very last episode and it looks like in this trailer which I will get to I promise just just wait a couple of seconds we get a bit of Batman. Now I do have a couple of theories as to what that is about but as I said I'll talk about that in just a second. Other footage we see is of Bane. It's a nice close up and he says a new world is coming. I guess he wants to reforge Gotham in his own image. Um, now say what you will about the Bane costume. I know a lot of people don't like it. I personally am up for this new kind of uh, version of the Bane suit and don't forget guys as well um, this is very proto Bane just imagine 10 years into the future plus what Bane will look like then that's what I've always said anyway it might look a bit more how you might like him to look although I don't know or I doubt that he will be in a 10 year time jump uh, but you can still just imagine that anyway uh, moving onwards we see more gangs of Gotham we even see Penguin say to Jim Gotham is mine now Jim gets a little bit triggered by this and punches him across the floor in front of everyone in front of his own men uh, in City Hall on his own turf so I think you know not only does he kind of want Jim dead from the previous episode because he shot him in the leg now I think more than ever he's going to want to go after Jim and we do see little bits of Jim uh, running throughout this trailer and we even see Penguin saying you know you can't run or just yeah run whatever but I think I'm not sure if these scenes are connected because we do see Jim running at a different time of day obviously Penguin is saying that during the daytime Jim is running at night here obviously he could have been running all day and all night but, you know, at the same time, it could have been cut to look like this is directly Penguin after him. But I wouldn't be surprised if Penguin is quite literally pursuing Jim Gordon in one or two episodes. But in terms of Penguin saying that Gotham is his now, it looks like maybe quite a few people of Gotham have kind of rallied behind him, thus strengthening his sector in Gotham. We see uh, Harvey there just looking away, just like, oh, for crying out loud. And then you see City Hall, Penguin's turf. I think you could kind of make out Penguin there and his goons. Uh, but you see a lot of people here and they don't necessarily look like gang members. These look like the kind of left behind citizens of Gotham. Maybe Penguin is supplying them with protection, maybe deceiving them, making them feel like they're safe. And then, you know, all the people rally behind him. And that's when Penguin's just like, yep, Gotham's mine now. You kind of get the vibe I'm going for there. Now here we see Echo, very, very proto Harley Quinn-esque at Ace Chemicals. You can clearly see Ace Chemicals right there. Uh, what we know is that this scene is probably linked to the scene of where Jim Gordon and Lee approach Ace Chemicals are actually inside Ace Chemicals with Jervis Tetch um, on like the rails above talking to Jim saying, oh, look, it's Jim and the woman he wanted to kill or said to kill, which is pretty funny, to be honest. Uh, but either way, that is when Echo comes along in the movie trailer and knocks Jim over the head and says pudding or something like that. Uh, so I believe that these scenes are connected and this is just a little extension on that storyline there in this particular trailer. Now I have spoke about this briefly before in other videos and I thought it was maybe half of Wayne Manor that explodes because that's all we got shown in the movie trailer I believe but in this we actually see that the whole of Wayne Manor explodes. Now I think maybe you could put this down to Jeremiah. I mean we do see Bane walking through a building on fire but that doesn't really look like Wayne Manor. I mean it could be another room who knows. Uh, it would be kind of random for Bane to just go after Bruce Wayne specifically. Uh, so that's what makes me kind of go away from that option. And maybe that the whole Wayne Manor blowing up is Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah does want to prove his love and friendship for Bruce Wayne this season. Now, he is doing that in a twisted way through kind of quote-unquote uh, bringing Martha and Thomas Wayne back. Uh, so I don't know if blowing up the building even in his crazy mind, is, you know, showing Bruce his friendship or love or whatever. But maybe it is at the same time. Um, but, you know, talking about Jeremiah 
and you know Martha Wayne and that whole storyline. Uh, we see in this trailer as well, Bruce is running towards shouting and screaming Jeremiah. Now I've seen a lot of people say in my comment section, what if this isn't Thomas and Martha Wayne? Well, obviously I don't think it's the actual Thomas and Martha Wayne. Um, and some people are suggesting that what if it's Lee and Jim Gordon, um, and it very well could be. He could have got the Mad Hatter to hypnotize them, and that was a part of the plan where they go in Ace Chemicals. You know, obviously, Jeremiah collects them, uh, uses them as pretend to Thomas and Martha Wayne. You get the idea. All of these images now from all the different trailers are kind of linking together. Uh, but we do see definitely a behind the scenes shot of the actual Martha Wayne actor with Jeremiah and Alfred. So it looks like she is coming back. Now, whether the, he actually does use, uh, obviously, Jim Gordon and Lee as a fill-in or a stand-in for the Thomas and Martha Wayne, and Bruce is just, I don't know, induced with a drug, so he's actually seeing his parents, which is why they got those actors back in as well. We're going to have to wait and see. But maybe, after all, the Mad Hatter and Echo's plan at Ace Chemicals, which I've briefly spoke about beforehand, is connected to the whole crime alley Jeremiah scene with Bruce and his potential parents, if you will. But, you know, it could be Jim and Lee. Now, there is a bit of showcasing from the other side of Selena. So after she gets brought back, I've said this a bunch of times, but she's coming back different. So Bruce is like, oh, I don't want to lose you. And she's like, I'm not yours to lose. She's like, screw you. And she is going to be different. That's just a little showcase of that. I feel kind of sorry for Bruce. He did what he had to do to bring Selena back, but she's going to be cold now, and she's going to be Catwoman. And there's a little awesome scene that we've seen before on top of that rooftop. Uh, there's another scene that really caught my eye of two choppers sending these two missiles towards something. Now... Um, that building could be indeed this building that is blowing up. I do wonder who that is. I don't believe that is the actual government, obviously. I mean, if it was, that'd be pretty messed up. So I'm thinking that it could, it could be Bane's men. This could be at a point in the season where, uh, that they're, they're obviously issuing a missile strike on this building for whatever reason. I, you would have to think it's Bane with his military guys, but not 100% sure here. We've seen this shot before of Victor Zaz getting tackled by Jim. Uh, although we've got a new angle now. It looks like Victor Zaz was uh, feasting on some popcorn as he was uh, using his gun out the window. Uh, another interesting shot is of Penguin here. And we see some GCPD officers in the background, very blurred out. But Jim is like, give me everything you've got and now. So it looks like these two are going to have to be forced to come together. We know they're inevitably going to ally together by the end of this season. But right now we know there's some very, very bad blood for very self-explanatory reasons. And in the last episode, like, obviously Jim shot him in the leg again, just as he kind of got this kind of uh, brace to fix it temporarily. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe Jim needs ammo from Oswald or something to sort out whatever situation they're in. Now here we see Selena kicking open a door. So I think she could be after Jeremiah here or literally looking for him. We know that's what she's going to be doing in the next, well, episode three, I believe. Um, I know she definitely pretends that she's Echo at one point. So this could be in that episode where she might get the one up on Echo. Nico costume. And then obviously disguise herself in Echo's mask. And then we'll have to see what happens from there on out. But very, very excited for that interaction. Now this scene is very awesome. We saw it first in the movie trailer. And that is of uh, Jeremiah flicking his knife. Saying this is just the beginning. And Bruce just running at him. And Jeremiah running at him. Uh, I think it's very obvious that Jeremiah is going to fall into the chemical vat. Uh, and we're going to have to see what happens after that. And of course guys, the very, very exciting part of the trailer is of the actual Batsu itself. Now, this could very well be from the 10 year time jump and it is very Batman 8090. I do love that kind of vibe from it. It is very quick, a very quick tease. They might've done that to just let fans know that by the way, we are doing Batman. We are doing this 10 year time jump episode. So stick around till then, you do not want to miss it. But it does also remind me of what we saw last season with Poison Ivy and how she put Bruce in this kind of dreamlike sequence where he saw a very similar kind of Batman like figure amongst a load of smoke just like this in the back cave. Now I'm not necessarily saying this is another thing, but what we do know is that Bruce goes to Ivy again. Maybe she will put him in a similar state where he sees the Batman again. Uh, however, I do think that is kind of unlikely and that this very well may be an actual very quick, very quick clip of at the actual Batman in the 10 year time jump 
just doing like a very cool Batman run and jump into the distance. Who knows? It could be a little segment of when they're closing it off and it's just Bruce Wayne running off into the distance as Batman and then Gotham ends. There's really not too much to gather from it all than that. It is very smoky. It is just essentially Batman jumping off a rooftop or between rooftops or something like that. Uh, really, really not much else to say, but it is a nice little teaser they added regardless for the end of this season if that is what it is it most probably is but let me know your thoughts on everything guys from what was shown in this trailer for not only next week's episode but beyond that as well uh, i assume uh, episode trailers after this will just be self-contained trailers for the following episode it just makes sense after episode one that they wanted to promote the rest of the season to possible people who don't go on the internet too much all the time but guys that is it from me in this trailer breakdown there's not too much else to say this video is long enough as it is for what it is um if you've missed out on my review it is in the cards above or in the description down below make sure you check my review out subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more coverage on gotham and other comic book nerdy things just like this links as always are in the description down below if you want to follow me on twitter or anything like that support the channel more on patreon by pledging uh, which fuels the content that i create of course i do have a discord server as well come and join the boba community and talk about gotham and other shows there uh, but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you gothamites in the next video goodbye